This is what Indian men do. This is our task in life, is to protect, to defend, to care for our families and our, our clans and our tribes. That's our job. I've got a flag at home. Uh, it, I rescued it from a, a thrift store. It was a, a veteran's burial flag. Don't know whose it was, but it, it, it deserves to be out in the, in, the, in the air. We can do that. We'll take care of that. I'd uh, completed uh, 200 missions in uh, Vietnam. Uh, I am a third generation combat veteran and my son, who was a Marine in Desert Storm, makes a fourth generation being a combat veteran. There's a lot of tradition in our family as far as serving our country in a time of crisis. Hey -ho, hey -ho. This, this place was home, and it was, it, it was always good coming home. When I joined the Army, my home of record was, was Bay Cone. And when we sat around the barracks at night talking about coming home, this is, this is, what, this is what I dreamed about coming back to. And that was my first exposure to uh, indoor plumbing and water. I was on the lower level, and that was uh, my room. It was the third window from the, uh, on the south wing of Walter Star Hall. Bacon had a long history of uh, people serving in the military, and they had uh, Company I that was uh, quite famous during uh, World War II. Growing up around, you know, the, the story about Company I and, and, and knowing Jack Montgomery, yeah, that, that reinforced. Maybe we were just more Indian then than, than what we realized. It's like my oldest son. You know, he, he's, uh, he's with 82nd Airborne now. Uh, and when he enlisted, you know, he did kind of shook his head and he goes, you know, Dad, this is, you know, this, this, this decision is your fault. You know, I said, what do you mean my fault? He goes, well, you taught us about duty and, and honor and, and obligation. He said, you fulfilled yours, now it's my turn. My grandfather was a uh, Civil War veteran uh, with uh, Stan Wadey. My father was a World War I veteran, a member of the 90th Division, uh, 357th Infantry, and was wounded uh, quite bad and led to his premature death when I was one year old. I was assigned to Heavy Attack Squadron 2, and uh, we went to Vietnam, and my first mission in Vietnam was in November of 1966. After my second deployment, I transitioned to the A6 Intruder. I was a member of Attack Squadron 165. We went aboard the USS America, and uh, I flew all three models of the uh, A6 qualified and flew combat, and our primary mission was uh, attack. It's like these guys from Company I. You know, they, were, they were all Baycomb students, the whole company, and they were all Indians. Nika Amar. 